It was empty, just a bed and nothing. I didn't want nothing. And I started saying, wow, I'm feeling good. I start go out and get stuff, go shopping, start putting a little frame. Then all of a sudden, in the space of six months, everybody come there and go, this little bachelor that had nothing look like this. And then I realized that's how I'm getting better. My name is Ira Moore, and um, I'm an artist. Listen to that. I got sick. That's when I have like blackout at the, set, the, the, the workplace. And they took me to the hospital. And from that's where the, the, the sickness started. When I was sick, I wouldn't play nothing. Because you're depressed, you have no desire. You're just wandering and sitting someplace, just don't want to do nothing. It's like you give up. And all I want to do is um, just sleep. How the medication make you drowsy. You, you just hear voices. Like voices, just your mind just start telling you, go shake hand with that worker. And I went over, shake hand with the worker. And then I just feel my head start act strange. And I'm talking silly things. You're hallucinating and they, it's telling you stuff. That is not true. I just love music. So whenever I see instrument that I don't have, I always collect, you know. <laughs> so I play around with them, feel the, the sound of it. Are you not allowed to go home till maybe when you're feeling much better and you can handle yourself. So after you start feel better, they let you go home for a weekend. Like holiday, long weekend, you go home the maybe Saturday morning, and you come back in the next Tuesday or the Monday. And they give me this medication. It makes me worse. They gave me another medication. I couldn't see. Side effect, I'm blue, my vision blue, I can't read. It's like something covering my eyes. You end up get more sick, because you want to get better. And you're having blue vision, you can't see nothing. And you, get, you wonder what is going on with you. And that's why you end up here so long. So all these fruits, I drew them. So this is a coconut tree. I put the coconuts on it. And the boy climbing the tree. Uh, this strawberry. This is a pineapple. And the pear. This is also some small trees, like in the Caribbean, you have those small little banana tree and the stump of some other little trees. That's our national bird, hummingbird. Yeah, I drew this one too. I put everything there. The only thing was on this was this one, just that building and that blue area. And I put all those dolphins inside, all the hillside, I make all those buildings. The trees at the top. Said it to a friend, I had a dream about my dad's little tiny place. How beautiful it is. And everybody come and say, wow, look at your dad's place. But the dream was for me. And after that, I realized I start feeling better. I said, oh my God, this is for me now. Feeling happy. Then I start decorating that little place, that little bachelor. It was empty, just a bed and nothing. I didn't want nothing. And I start saying, wow, I'm feeling good. I start go out and get stuff, go shopping, start putting a little frame. Then all of a sudden, in the space of six months, everybody come there and go, this little bachelor that had nothing look like this. And then I realized that's how I'm getting better in the dream. Like, it wasn't for my dad. My dad was kind of telling me in the dream, you're going to get up and you're going to flourish. Your place is going to be nice. And from having my wife and the kids start come along, then I see life is so happy. Make sure I am healthy, go play music like I used to be at the same time. Bill here. What you play, wifey? Music. <laughs> <laughs>
All these things make me so happy, man. Putting them up every day, I get something, and I would put them up, and it's, oh, it's so nice.